Well, in this case, um, the O3b Mid-Earth Orbit is a, an inclined satellite, a zero degree inclination, meaning it rotates around the Earth at the equator. Uh, so there are other inclined, MEO inclined satellites like GPS that are about 55 degrees that uh, you know, are rotating in almost like a, a, an arc around uh, the, uh, the, the globe. Um, the O3b uh, overall location is about 5,000 miles above the equator and it, is, it represents about 130 millisecond round trip uh, path for data. Uh, which is very comparable to fiber-like uh, latency and speed. When you look at a geosynchronous satellite, uh, 22,300 miles, um, rough, you're talking roughly 500 milliseconds. So uh, for a mid-Earth orbit O3b satellite, it's about one-fourth uh, the latency of a geosynchronous satellite. And that's critical for communications, it's critical, critical for high throughput uh, capacity that we're sending, and um, the ability to go ahead and provide uh, warfighters immediate access to information. We just had a, a demonstration at MacDill Air Force Base last fall, and what uh, the users that were there got to see was uh, an incredible amount of data, uh, nearly 500 megabits of uh, forward uh, link throughput, and uh, multiple, uh, six uh, simultaneous UAV high definition feeds coming through uh, without any buffering or any pixelation as part of that process. And the US government users that uh, looked at that said, wow, this is really a game changer. In addition, we had multiple other applications riding in the background that were all going at real time. And so it was a very, very impressive demonstration and I believe it's going to be a way of the future for uh, certain military applications.